In modern times, there's a lot of talk about hybrid technology. Let it be in racing cars or road cars for your own benefit. For the race driver, do you think hybrid technology changes a lot to the driving style? Well, let me demonstrate it to you. Kinetic energy recovery. This is the scientific description of hybrid. Uh, but what is that? What is kinetic energy? When I'm going to a corner on the racetrack or in the city when I'm braking for a red light, I'm braking. And braking, I need some force and some power to slow down a car. This is usually wasted energy, gets hot on the brake discs and no one has any use of it. Hybrid stores this energy and the next time I want to accelerate, regardless if it's on the racetrack or on the road, I'm using that energy and this is hybrid technology. In principle, driving a hybrid road car or a hybrid race car is exactly the same. Hybrid cars, it's all about efficiency. In the end of the day on the road car we want to use less fuel uh, to go from A to B. In the race car we use the hybrid technology for performance. And a real interesting example here is that in the Le Mans race, for no loss in performance, we do the same lap times than in the old days, we use 30% less fuel, and I think that's really impressive. I think the most obvious difference is the silence. You depart with electric power, and in the end of the day, it's the same way we accelerate out of the pit stops uh, in the World Endurance Championship. We depart on electric power, almost silent, and only out of the pit lane, we use the other 500 horsepower we have from the combustion engine. For the bigger accelerations, we use the combined power of the old-school combustion engine and the electric power. It is more than 1,000 horsepower on all four wheels, which is going to get me out of the corner, hopefully to out-accelerate the competition. There is a difference between the road car and the race car. Obviously, on the road car cruising on the highway or on the country lane, occasionally the hybrid system recovers energy just when you're cruising along. On the race car we don't do that. We just go flat out from the corner to the next braking because the harder we brake at the next stop, the more energy we recover and there is not such thing as recovering on straight line. We have an extremely strong link between road car development and race car development. Not only is it the same engineers who developed the Toyota Prius and all hybrid cars, they are developing our drivetrains in the World Endurance Championship. But the technology which we race will be your technology in the road car tomorrow.